What's going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. I hope everyone's having a fantastic Wednesday today, getting over that week hump. Now today, as you can see, we are going over another god roll from this season in the Coraxis' Distress. Now this is a strand grenade launcher in our heavy slot that comes from the Root of Nightmares raid. I know not everybody will be able to grab this bad boy, but wanted to cover it because I have thoroughly been enjoying this with that strand synergy, and it has some very interesting rolls on it for both PvP pve definitely think it shines more in the pve realm but i have been using this inside of the crucible as well kind of replacing or using it alongside my blast brute which i usually use for those crucible games and grenade launchers now before we go over the god rolls we are going over its origin trait real quick with harmonic resonant equipping multiple weapons from this set grants this weapon increased reload and handling speed it also deals increased damage versus tormentors lucent hive and guardians in their super so has that pvp aspect with guardians in their super and then like i said comes in handy with that lucent hive and tormentors for the pve realm as well so when you're pairing other weapons from the raid rufu's fury stuff like that has the addition with harmonic resonance so it's a very interesting origin trait indeed now when we move on to our god roll for pvp for that intrinsic masterwork we're going with blast radius to give us the stats down below with that 58 velocity 55 on blast radius definitely the most two important stats in my opinion for the crucible now to get these stats where we want them, we are using our volatile launch as our barrel for increased blast radius, handling, and projectile speed. Nice little triple dip for us in that barrel. Now for me, for PvP, going with that high explosive ordinance gives us that increase to speed and blast radius like i said only has three in the magazine not that that matters for pvp but cranks it up like i said to near 60 for both blast radius and velocity now for our first enhanced trait i am going with impulse amplifier right here for massively increased projectile velocity and gives us that increase to reload speed again not that that really matters for the pvp realm but that velocity for impulse is definitely what we're looking for in this column now in the fourth column we got a couple different options that i was going back and forth with first off we have wellspring right here so final blows with this weapon generate improved amount of ability energy which this will also be an option for pve so we can spam abilities even more now this energy is divided by our uncharged abilities so we do save them a little bit more often inside of the crucible but in my opinion we're not getting heavy that that often so wellspring is a personal choice if you want to use it or not now the other option that I was weighing between Wellspring is also Full Court. Now this does more damage the farther you are away or the more time it is in the air, the damage is increased. Now the reason that I picked this is because it gives us plus two blast radius. So it jacks our blast radius up to 60, but that full court just in general, you're not really getting too close to enemies. In my opinion, you're usually throwing into a room or something like that. So you can take advantage of that little extra damage that full court has. Once again, this is going to be in our PVE god rules. Like I said, this weapon definitely more tends to that side of the game. But with that impulse amplifier and wellspring, definitely a very solid roll for PvP. Like I said, use it to replace my Blast Brute, which I have been using for a long while now. Now, when we move on to the PvE side of things, we're going with that reload for our intrinsic masterwork, giving us these stats you see down below with that five in the magazine, 38 in reload, which is super fast for a grenade launcher, plus that 40 on the blast radius. And you'll see with the perks why we have it set up like this. So first off, again, I'm going with Volatile Launch. I love this. The Jack of All Trade perks for grenade launchers and barrels gives us that blast radius, handling, and projectile speed, rounding out the stats on how I personally like them. And definitely, like I said, Jack of All Trades for this column. 
Now for me in the second column, I am going with spike grenades. So we have that increased two stability and grenades fired from this that do direct hits, do increase damage on those targets, allowing us to juice those bosses as well as champions, whatever it may be in some of that harder end game activities. Now, when we move down to the enhanced perks for this weapon, first off, we're going to go with Demolitionist. But one reason why I wanted to cover this weapon is because it has a couple options in both the third and fourth column that I think are very good for the PvE realm on grenade launchers, especially with that strand synergy. But like I said, first off, we have Demo. Final blows with this weapon generate improved grenade energy and activating your grenade reloads this from the reserves. So this can be used to juice those enemies using whatever we're using shackle threadling grenades for that strand synergy we can use all five of our shots throw a grenade to do that damage use five more shots and absolutely nuke some enemies now for me, we also have the option of reconstruction. Over time, this weapon reloads itself, giving it up to double carrying capacity so we can hold 11, 10 shots in this bad boy for some of that damage. Very similar to Demolitionist, but instead of reloading at the grenade, once we use five, we're just gonna have 10 or 11 in there automatically. And most of the time, we're not using these consistently. So you will get that stack up to to 11 a lot of the time so also a very good option for this third column now for me the fourth column has three different options with this being my first choice to pair with demolitionist as my god roll of the god rolls here we're going with full court so increase detonation damage as the projectile travels further before exploding gives us that increase to blast radius and with having something like demo most of the time we're staying back from those bosses anyways so we can use full court to that advantage of giving us that plus 25 when it is full Fully procced at that farthest distance which it doesn't really have to travel that far in my personal opinion so very good for that end game activity and damage now next off for this column we do have the option of wellspring again so final blows generate improved energy for our abilities this is divided between our uncharged abilities allowing us to have that strand synergy and spam it in the pve realm like i said pairs very well with something like a warlock those threadling grenades getting it back very very quickly especially if you're using something like demo on top of it they feed off of each other very well and the last option that you can throw on which i really like this perk and it is new to this season is paracausal affinity final blows of energy type matching this weapon's alignment grant increased damage for an improved duration so when we're getting those strand defeats whether it be with our weapon with our abilities whatever it may be another strand weapon it could proc paracausal affinity which gives us that nice damage boost as well so it takes a little bit to get it procced kind of like a rampage or something like that that won't give us consistent damage in the long run but it is very good when you have a lot of ads to clear out as well which will give you that constant paracausal affinity so like I said, that was why I wanted to cover this weapon, even though I know it's a raid weapon and not everybody can snag it, but we do have a Discord that tries to help people out go through some of these raids, so don't be afraid to hop in so we can help you get this bad boy. But with the amount of options that you have for perks on this, once you can craft it, as well as that strand synergy potential, it is up there in that A tier for grenade launchers for me for the PvE realm and definitely definitely fits in that b column for me inside of the pvp realm so this thing overall very very good weapon to come out from the raid definitely up there with my favorites alongside rufu's fury so 100 percent going to be looking for this as an adapter version as well but a lot easier for me to craft it at the moment and like i said the options for that strand synergy and perks are endless with this weapon so thank you guys again for that support. Truly, truly appreciate it. If y'all like these videos, build guides, etc., don't be afraid to subscribe and hit that bell to come back for more so you don't miss anything. And like I said, join the Discord. We help people try to go through raids, dungeons, whatever it may be to help them get some of these banger end game rolls and weapons. So thank you guys again. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.